Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. I hope you had time to watch the first video in the series on tips on precision pistol shooting where I talked about these guys, the pistol, and also the ammo. Now we're going to talk about the grip. A consistent grip is extremely important when it comes to precision pistol shooting. Actually, any kind of pistol shooting, your grip is very important. I'm going to take you through some techniques that I do to help me have a good grip, not over grip the pistol, but then again, not have it so loose it's going to fall out of my hand. A big problem with people not being consistent when shooting a pistol is their grip. So the grip a lot of time is overlooked among shooters. This kind of pistol, this is a Colt Woodsman, 6 inch target, and if you can notice, it has a raised thumb rest. Okay, That is considered target grips. I prefer target grips. Not to say that if you have standard grips such as, you know, like on this high standard here, with no thumb rest or anything like that, that you're not going to be able to shoot them very well. I just like target grips because I've got huge hands, all right? Very big hands. So I like a big fat grip with a thumb rest. That's just what I prefer. The first thing that we want to talk about is, of course, your dominant hand. Now, if you're left-handed, you don't want to have your thumb, the thumb rest on the left-hand side. You'll want to have it on the right-hand side. So, just for, you know, the ones who don't understand that, because if you try to shoot this pistol left-handed, it's not going to be very comfortable at all, because that's going to cut into your hand over a period of time. It's not going to make you bleed or anything like that. It's just going to be uncomfortable. And you want to be 100% comfortable every time you pull the trigger. So, what I like to do is take my dominant hand, my right hand, and just grip it. Okay, I want to get up high on the pistol as I possibly can get, okay, and just grip it. All right, my second hand, my off hand, is going to come around like so. If you see in any of my videos, I kind of, I kind of overlap my, my fingers into my knuckles, okay? It goes just something like, like that. That's what's comfortable for me. Now, the big problem with people what they like to do is over grip a pistol. And there's no need to over grip a 22 pistol. But then again, you don't want to have it so loose in your hands it's going to fall out or just go crazy every time you shoot it. What I try to tell people to do when talking about gripping a pistol properly, especially a 22 pistol with target grips, most of you guys know that I'm a father. I have uh, two small children, my youngest is four, and I like to make the comparison when I go out in public with my four-year-old, say to the mall, uh, when my wife drags me there, or to Walmart. When I'm on kid duty, I'm holding my four-year-old's hand. Now, again, I have large hands, and she's got little bitty hands. And I'm holding her hand because my four-year-old, she's a little crazy, all right? There's been times that, you know, she just sees something and she wants to go at it. Well, I don't want to hold her hand so tight that it hurts her after, you know, two or three minutes of holding her hand. But then again, I don't want to hold it so loose that she can just turn and pick up something off of, off the floor like a, you know, a used piece of chewing gum and start putting it in her mouth. You know, I, I don't want that. So I, I want to just grip her hand tight enough where she can't just pull away. But then again, I don't want to hurt her. So that's what you need to do when you're, you know, gripping the pistol. I only grip probably, you know, I, I would probably say 30% grip strength, 25 to 30% grip strength when I'm shooting my pistol. Um, you know, if you start gripping too hard, what you're going to do, the front end of this barrel, it's going to start shaking like this right here. And you're not going to be consistent. So do not over grip your pistol. Another thing you don't want to do is under grip your pistol. If your pistol is just floating in your hand like so, what's going to happen when you start putting tension on this trigger, especially if you have a heavier trigger, this trigger in this pistol is probably about three pounds or so. But if you were shooting a pistol that had a trigger of, say, five pounds, as soon as you start putting pressure on that, you know, that barrel is going to start moving, you know, up and down more than likely, uh, more than likely down. So you don't want to grip it so loose that when you start putting pressure on it, it's going to start driving the, the barrel down. So like I said, I use about 30% grip strength. And every time you shoot or every time I shoot, just, just picture yourself holding a child's hand. You know, a small child's hand. You don't want to break their hand. 
then again, you don't want them to be able just to go anywhere and everywhere they want to go anytime they want to do it. So that is some of the techniques on grip. Another thing about the grip that I want to talk about is having your dominant hand, such I'm right-handed, properly seated on the pistol. Okay, I'm going to move the camera around and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, I have my Colt Woodsman here, and right down here, you'll see an orange target. Okay, it's a little prairie dog target. I'm not going to be shooting or anything here, but if you've noticed in a lot of my videos, before I get ready to shoot, I'll put my pistol up, and sometimes I will reposition my grip. Okay, that's not that's not because that I don't have a you know a good tight grip or anything like that on it. The reason why I'm doing that is because my hand is not seated properly right back here or on the thumb rest. And what I'm doing is when I start to grip with about 25-30% strength, I start torquing the uh, pistol around. And I'll tell you what I'm show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have just grip it regular, and I'm gonna be aiming at that little orange target right there. Now when I go to grip, you see what happens? That front sight moves to the left. All I'm doing is just tightening my grip. I'm not moving my wrist or hand. So when I go to 25-30% signal, I mean 25-30% grip strength, I am moving my front end of my sight. So what you need to do, I usually just open my hand and reclose it and have it seated in there properly. Now, if I grip, that front sight pretty much stays exactly where I want to aim. Now, those are some techniques of how I grip a pistol. Now, my techniques may not be best for you. In different grips, you're going to have your hands different on them. So, it may not work in every situation, but just make sure every time you grip a pistol, and you have it up there, don't over grip it. And especially when, now I'm talking about precision shooting. I'm not talking about, you know, this run and gun, three gun match, you know, shooting still as fast as you can. Yeah, you're gonna need a tighter grip that. I'm talking about precision shooting. One shot is all you're gonna get. That's what I'm talking about here. So try that next time you go to the range, work on your grip, hold the pistol in your hand, and before you get ready to shoot, do about 25, 30% grip strength, and see if that front end of that barrel doesn't move left or right. If it does, change your grip. Sometimes it's just as easy as opening your hand and reclosing it. And that way, that front sight will be on target every single time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this video has been informative. If you have any questions, you can ask me here. Or you can ask me on Facebook or Twitter. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all be safe and keep linking.